Welcome back to the Mirror of Return. I'm going to go check out the gate again. I don't... It's not pickable, right? I'm just going to double check that. I think I used... <laughs> I'm just doubting myself. I'm also just trying to see what this area looks like. So I can maybe get a better reference. <gasps> Oh, there is another, there's maybe another path here. Yeah, it's definitely not pickable and I don't have any other keys. Okay, none of these people seem to have one. So, I... Hmm. I couldn't find anything in the thread about this gate. So I don't know what I'm missing. I didn't search exhaustively, it's a very long thread, but there's... Nobody else seemed to be stuck on this key, so... Maybe I'm missing a different way to go? I am missing something. Apparently, um... If he was talking about the bandits... Uh, when he mentioned... Uh, you know, the Gondor Cave, Cave... Something about the, the River Canyon, Waterfall, uh... No, something about the, about the cave. They they took the loot and went to the cave. Uh, the note that I found was Sagon. Or from Sagon. Is um apparently referring to the loot. Where's the, where is it? Where is it? Sagon's note. Whitewater, that's the town, right? Um Speak to the old cottage. Look like vandals used to live there. Right, that's that's his one. Golden necklace on the floor. So yes, that was Kathy's cottage that he looted. <laughs> Apparently I'm supposed to give him this note, and this is a, that seems quite a stretch. Guess. We'll find out. Also, I may have missed a building here. Oh, I can go in there. The milk bar. That... Why did they, why did they not open, try opening that door before? I don't know. Maybe most of the doors, well, a lot of the doors are not openable. So, okay. Um, well, let's go back. To our good friend. And that was locked. Could not be picked. And that one didn't open at all. This one doesn't open, right? Yeah, okay. So some places... I, I, do, I love this curve straight, it's really cool. Um, some places do open, some places do not. Well, let's give him the note here. No? Alright, well... Let's hope that the bit that's supposed to be triggered by that is fine, because we can't seem to give him the note, so... He's not going to want this one, right? No. Well, that one I can drop. I can't drop Sagan's note. Do you want this one? I mean, Sigon's note is supposed to be the one. No? Well, well, I guess we'll find out when we find the uh, river canyon with the waterfalls. Unless that's where we're supposed to be, somewhere we've already supposed to have been. Where was that milky bar? Through right here, I think. We could get up on that roof, is there any reason to? Yeah, 
Yes, this was a place I was supposed to be in, I guess. Well then, I've heard you're looking for a way into Xena's house. Yeah. <laughs> I know a way in, but therefore you have to do something for me. My master <laughs> fell behind with my payments. Maybe we could oblige each other? He debts me 500 pieces of gold. Ah, great. Here's the key to our basement. There you'll find a hole in a wall through which you can get to Xero's house and see. I forgot to close it over work, you know. Um, however, it was very nice to make deals with you. Did you give me a key? You do communicate, okay. Search for com oh no. What? Send new objectives, I don't see any new objectives. Alright. Do you have any nice wine, man? It all looks like the bad stuff, man. Alright. Your basement. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going there. So, is this your house? I didn't find a locked basement in here, did I? Oh, there's a locked, there's a locked house. Her house will be the locked house, of course, of course. Back up this way, was it? Nope, this was the uh, garden. This one. That's a door, okay. through to what's his name Sinius's house I don't remember this uh, house is next door is we're not supposed to be in here if the owner's not home what does it matter cemetery key maybe that's the key I'm missing Zinus, that's his name. Extract from Zinus's journal, 925. The pyramid is situated in the south, in a deep valley. The place is strange enough. There is no recognizable path leading to the pyramid, just a blocked off cave. However, it is possible to take the way across the mountains if you are a well-trained mountaineer as I am. The pyramid is even more peculiar. This one seems to be much higher but thinner than all the other pyramids in this area. I estimate her age to be up to a thousand years. Unfortunately, I was not able to get inside, since the door appears to be sealed by some sort of magic. Perhaps those jars to each side of the entrance are connected with the locking mechanism? 930. I came to the conclusion that those jars were used for fire. I found a small heaps of ash on the bottom of each jar. I put some on my lamp oil into one of the jars and lit the oil, but uh, nothing happened. Perhaps I misunderstood the purpose of them. 932. It is possible that one cannot open the doors with ordinary fire. I think it is quite obvious now that they must have used magical fire instead. But I am neither a magician nor an alchemist to create such a fire on my own. 933. Last night I remembered the torch in the temple and seemed to burn for ages. No one took care of it, but it can't be doused. I never paid much attention to it, but perhaps this is the tool that will open the gates? 934. Actually, I wanted to leave today, but Mathis got ill. 
There is no way I could leave the house now, especially not for an entire day. Apart from that, the area surrounding the pyramid really scares me. It is almost as if there is something evil inside of it. Something evil inside the pyramid. Find out how to open it. Okay, that's that's information we need. Why would there be something evil inside the pyramid? Silly idea. Not hiding anything behind there, are you? Well, if you are. Then I guess it's staying hidden. Ah, that's just the front door. All right. Okay. Not really sure how I missed the sign first time. At the door of the of the Milky Bar. But no problem. You know, let's just let's just. Oh, uh, you know what? He's gonna get suspicious, isn't he? If he finds those planks broken, so you know what? Well, he's gonna get suspicious if he sees crates he doesn't know about. So maybe we just stack these here, and he won't think twice about them. You just think, oh, it's, yeah, okay. They've just, you know, closed up the entrance way again. In as practical a manner as they could, you know. It's. It ain't perfect, but, uh. Yeah, no one's gonna suspect anything. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. And we can lock the door again behind us. Okay. Maybe you'd like to keep back, man? I don't know where you are. Alright, the other thing is I suggested that the River Canyon was the waterfalls, was where the barracks were? Not far, it's just down this way. <clears throat> hey guys. You should maybe clean it up, it's gonna start smelling pretty soon. So let's just see if there's anything happening back here. I mean I guess it was a canyon with a river, I just don't remember any waterfalls. No, there wasn't a river either, it had a dry river bed. Okay, maybe there's seasonal waterfalls and and then it's not the waterfall season right now. I don't know how waterfalls work. Maybe the waterfall's on holiday. Maybe there's another canyon with barracks. No, there's nothing happening here, shall we? Ouch. No, there's nothing happening here. Except me taking more damage. Unnecessarily. Look, you fell for the same trick again. Alright. It's alright, but it could be fine. Could lead him all the way to the gate guards, maybe, but uh That would probably be cruel. I have no desire to have the, either the barrack or the gate guards killed. So I won't. Man, I could do with some, uh, some healing, though. Give you some of that milk. Frosty tapped barrack milk. Maybe one of the more exotic milks. How's it going? 
Okay. Now I need to remember the way out of this town. Uh, was it here? No. That's the garden. That this way gets us to the Milky Bar. Right, the, the other gate's just here. Thank you for the key, ma'am. Did I check out here? I'm sure I did. Yes, I did. All right, onwards. A little more backtracking than I plan to do, but it's fine. Keep a good watch, guys. You're kind of... You're kind of watching your friend over there. You should... I don't know, maybe be watching... This direction, where things might come from? Well, I guess you know your job better than I do. Maybe by doing the letter after getting Sagan's note, the scripting broke? I don't know. Maybe it's not broken and stuff will happen. I haven't found any place that seems like a river valley. Maybe it's beyond the cemetery, I don't know. Now that I have the cemetery key, somewhere here. That's one. Should be able to, um,. Let's just run past him. We'll beat him there. Okay. Doesn't look like it doesn't really look to me like a cemetery, so I only knew that I sh should be the cemetery key that I was looking for. Thanks to the discussions. Of, uh... Did he see me? No, he's just chilling. Thanks to discussions on the forums when I went searching for information about the key. Ah, this is a cemetery. Okay. Oh, hello. We got a tomb key, didn't we? Oh. Oh. Tomb of Lava Licious. Whoa. Quick save Alicious, for sure. Or Garrett. I think I'm going to skip the near one. Looks like a trap. Oh, what is that? A chest, or is that a feature? There's waterfalls. Temple key. didn't jump when I wanted him to. Ah! Ah! objectives, don't fall in the lava. That's a very weird time for a new objective to suddenly, uh, appear as well. What? Locate and acquire the mirror of return? No. Wherever those banners came from, they left to hide out in a mad rush? No. Collect valuables worth 500 gold to pay off Beatrix, otherwise you won't get into Zunus's house. What? I have no idea why I get new objectives while I'm busy. 
playing with floor is lava and failing. Also the one having a lot more trouble with this than I did before. So definitely some oddities. Anyway, I can go that way, but I want people to get back here, so I want to keep exploring here. Before I call this done. Oh, that's the temple key. Maybe I will be able to get back. I mean, that's a temple. Alright, well, let's try it then. It's amazing how uh, it doesn't insta kill him. Alright, well, let's just try this again. Maybe I can get that. New objectives. Maybe the new objective is triggered by coming here. Oops. Yeah, I kind of get back up there. I guess I'm going swimming. Well, this is rivers with waterfalls, so maybe that's relevant as well. And I guess that's 500, 500 worth of loot there. So she already took the 500s, but I guess if she hadn't, it would have been... I could have used these to pay her or something. Oh. More barracks. He's gonna see me, isn't he? Nope. I saw something, but wasn't quite sure what it was. I'm not going to get over there. Alright, I'm a little confused now. I can't get back to that. Oh, I guess I can climb up there. If I can get to the other side. Oh, no, we're here at the set. This is just where the cemetery is. This is the cemetery here. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's let's go back and check out the temple. Temple had the fire, right? Endless fire that we need to open this pyramid. Maybe the temple will have a healing potion as well. We can but hope. So I guess maybe I shouldn't have jumped from the cave, but maybe the point of the current, the current was supposed to stop me getting upstream far enough. Oh, does it simply even have a door? It does. Ah, okay. Very small temple. Ooh, I almost walked in that. Is that? I don't know what that is. Looks bad. Rope arrows! Seven rope arrows! Rope arrows, my beloved, I've missed you. Okay. 
Okay. Magic torch. Oh, it's just coins. Problem is, now with the magic torch, we are quite lit up. So sneaking is not going to be possible. But the rope arrows mean we'll be able to go across the bridge. The wooden bridge. Where the barrack was. Uh, this is going to be a problem though. It's going to be a problem in terms of a different objective, right? Well, maybe the magic torch will go out when I open the way to the pyramid and then I can do a thing. Because I think round about where Hey guys. Round about where the barracks were. It's supposed to be a thief. Sagon with his loot, right? It's a gold necklace. Well, the boat's going away, so I can at least try this piece first. Let's not use a gas arrow where we need a rope arrow. Gonna run this way first, but I'm probably gonna have to restart to deal with that rip out of problem. Oh, must be Sagon's cave. What have we got here? Coins. Hmm. Well, this is somewhere new. The magic torch luckily doesn't go out on the water. Alright, that's that's gonna be a way out. Can't swim down there, the current is too strong. Besides, you want to jump backwards instead, is at least mildly annoying. Oh, I think that's Mr. Sagan. Here's me being extremely sneaky. I saw something. Hmm. You'd think I'd be used to rat noises by now. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. <coughs> saw me.
I don't know how these doors, right? Oh, this is just a sleeping owl. More object problems. Alright. Um, I'm going to restart. Well, here we are again, trying the same shenanigans. Surely I need to jump in there to make this guy appear. Maybe he'll just turn up with his own accord. Jump in here and climb back up if it's going to help. Oh, there he is. I'm not sure what triggers him to come this way. I guess the same tactic worked before should work this time. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Ooh. Yeah, why would they be glowing? There was just nothing. Glowing patch of ground there. That mm. Makes no sense. Managed not to load the barracks this time. Oh, I thought I had managed not to. I think I should have just closed the door behind me. You know what? Let's lure them out here. And then we'll double back. And do exactly that. Come on, chase me. I know I'm lit up like a Christmas tree, but... side of it. Dang it. Come here, Berkies. Try that again. First I could flash bomb them. Oh, 
Okay. You can come and go to sleep here. Yeah. I can drop that this time. So hopefully we can get the loot now. So that was that guy's appearance does not come if you haven't found the letter. Whoa. That's the necklace, I guess, that we need for our cafe. Wow. No, look, all but plenty of idols this guy's been collecting. Right. Okay. I hear the barracks still there. Hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna go for it because I need to get out. You know what? Let's not leave this guy locked in here. Let's you can at least find the key. Right, unfortunately, the barracks being up this end is bad for me as well. So I mean, I still need to deal with the bridge. Which is gonna be hazardous. Get back up there, that would have been a way down. Ugh. Very farts everywhere you look. Alright, they, they're not. not the vision isn't so good. Let me get past this there. So, um, oh, oh, there's a tree there. I oh, they can see me here. Maybe I can rope the tree. Guess I better hope so. Hmm. Maybe we should be trying to climb onto the tree. Well, I guess this is our canyon valley with a pyramid. Hello? I just a spot on the texture. How do we get down? I mean, maybe we rope from another tree? It's a pyramid indeed.
Hmm. I didn't think I saw some ledges down here, but oh yeah, but then on the layer below. It does look like as the roping down from a tree is going to be the answer. Alright. Let's go do it. I mean, I guess we could use this one, right? We can leave our rope here, it's fine. Oh, that's a flaming bird. Hmm. We'll have to be careful down there because we are going to be highly visible. It's undead as well. It's not such a big deal, but this is quite the construction. I'm, um, I am impressed at the uh, at this construction just as a matter of brushwork. It's very well done. I'm not sure what's up with these. Oh, these are flaming barracks that they, the dragons they talked about. They're fire breathing. It could be. Well, I guess we're gonna have to risk them. Well, that could be a way out. We're gonna run around the pyramid to see what we can see. Um, more fire breathing barracks. Pits of Doom. Yeah, I should be alright to escape these guys, I think. Hey, man. Are you gonna walk up that? It's impressive athleticism for that dude with rotting legs. Alright, anything down here except another big tree? No. No, I don't think so. Well, I'm gonna need the magic torch. So, luckily I let everyone away from the entrance. That was my top secret plan here. So I should be able to get up here relatively undisturbed. Hmm, we dropped this torch. Is that a good idea? I hope so. But not to be Super lit up. Oh wow, this place is extremely well preserved. I apologize for the uh, constant tick in that audio loop, but that is the sound. Oh, these bookshelves have fallen over. Thing in here? Alright, we can go and go down or we can go up. First, let's check out this chamber. Glossary of Animals, written by Brother Obito. The scorpion, Scorpiones, belongs to the system of Arachnids, Arachnida. 
Hippopus sandy and stony soils. Only a few scorpions are perilous for human beings, and I discovered three of them in this area. The most widespread one is the sand scorpion, who remains beneath the earth during the day. He leaves his hideout at night to hunt for food. In comparison to other scorpions, this one is quite harmless. You'll hardly notice this thing. The black scorpion is much more dangerous. His poison is able to disable humans, but they are not deadly. It is better if you watch your step when wandering in the desert. The shadow scorpion is rarely to be seen by humans. In former times, people believed that it had magic powers and came from another dimension. What nonsense. Once I saw one of those animals in the nearby valley. The beaded lizard, Heloderma, belongs to the system of reptiles, Reptilia. This is the only lizard to have evolved an overt venom delivery system, and has long been considered the only venomous lizard. Since I never saw one of them here, I doubt that they inhabit this piece of desert at all. The camel is an even-toed ungulate within the genus Camelus, bearing distinctive fat deposits known as humps on its back. Brought here by humans, they proved their value in this hostile desert environment, mostly as pack animals. They never threaten humans, nor are they aggressive by any means. The most widespread kind of this animal is the local Bactrian camel. camel. They are really worthy of their names, since they will wander around as soon as they untie and trample everything in doing so. Rattlesnakes are a group of venomous snakes, genera Crotalus and Cestrurus. They belong to the subfamily of venomous snakes known commonly as pit vipers. The only non-toxic snake here is Brother Milanor's snake that he found during one of our expeditions. This animal is easy to find once it escaped due to its coloured skin. However, all the other snakes in this area are hard to spot since their skin is of a similar colour as the ground they move on. The fennec fox, Rulpes zerda, is a small nocturnal fox. Its most distinctive feature is its unusually large ears. The fennec can live up to 12 years in the wild. It digs out dens and sand for habitation, which can be up to 120 square metres and adjoin other families' dens. The soles of its feet are protected from the hot desert sand by thick fur, and they also burrow into the sand to stay cool during the day. The genus Yaculus is a member of the Dipodinae family, the subfamily of Dipodoid rodents, Jobois. Collectively, the species within the genus may be commonly referred to as Dedojobois. They remind me of stories I've heard about human sized animals that used to jump across the desert on their rear legs. What nonsense, if you ask me. Further pages are not readable due to moisture. Moisture? Moisture damage? In this ancient temple? Um, yeah, you know what? Actually. Let me tr see something here. It's pr pretty hard to see. It's going to be pretty hard to see on the recording. Let's see if I can pick this up and drop it again. Now that we fulfill our purpose. Now I can throw it. Oh, maybe I was always supposed to be able to throw it. And it was just the, the the same bug that was preventing me. Okay, that is probably the case. Or maybe it's a different bug, but hello. Did that light up? Oops. Did it light up because it was readable or light up because it was just being lit by the magic torch? I think the latter. I found a strange piece of metal today, and there seem to be strange signs engraved into it. I made a copy of the symbols, perhaps I will understand them in time. And a whole lot of binary. You know what? I think if that is worth... Noting down. Maybe this is the manual for using a magic carpet, a genie bottle, or the map pointing towards a treasure. Let's find out, shall we? Strange that they would use ASCII instead of it. Okay. You know what? Um. Let's do this by hand. Let's not throw this into a 
converter because it's not a very long string. Let's break it into fours and then we'll just write out the hex and then we can convert that because why not? You could just, you know, Google binary decoder or something and find something pretty quickly that I could just copy paste into. That's that's not quite uh, not really in question. Okay, what do we got? Code one hundred one is five four, and here we have six. Eight and then six nine, and this is hex, not decimal six five six six. Okay, then two O, oh. then three four two O. Oh. Now five nine and six five. Um, if anyone doesn't know binaries, basically the digits from right to left that's one, two, four, eight. And we're just looking at these group of four, so one, two, four, eight. So that's four plus two is six, that's four plus one is five. And the reason I'm doing it, I'm doing it to hex first because then it's very easy to go from the, to look up hex rather than look this up and say, well, this is 175 or whatever it might be. Um, it is a lot easier to just take the hex digits and uh, look them up. And let's make it slightly taller. Where do we go here? 70. Six, uh, C. For some reason my head was stuck in, in decimal and that confused me for a moment. Okay, seven, nine. All right, so next, let's get our Windows character map with something that actually has English in it. Why not? There we go. Now it's always annoyed me that character map doesn't uh, go in width of 16, so you just like random, randomly have to hunt. But there's our hex codes, right? So 54 is T. 68, lowercase h. 69 is then I, because these are in alphabetical order. 65 X is E 66 is F Thief 20, I know it was space, it's not it's uh, not showing up here because it starts at 2-1 for some reason like it's uh, like it's unimportant that you can miss some characters 3-4 is the digit 4 we get another space and we have five nine capital Y six five again Ye thief seventy three S yes seventy seven W sixty five again is E Yes, we seven zero P six C L six one. I mean, I could write something in Python to could do this, but it's easy enough just to do it like this. There we go. Thief. 
four. Yes, we play. How strange. Wonder what that means. Now, I mean, decipher that. Well, it's Easter egg, hello. Um, can I drop? I can just drop it too, I don't have to throw it. No. So I guess it was a bug before. Let's get down. It's just the same bug that was affecting uh, other things, that was stopping me dropping it, I suppose. Ooh. Okay, maybe in here. We set aside a magic torch for a moment. So unfortunately, I can't turn it off. Careful around the gunpowder with the magic torch. Good thing you're not smart enough to think, oh, a pull of light, that means there's something there. He's going in there. Right. What's this? Eureka! I've made an excellent discovery today. I've created a magical mixture that makes you feel ten years younger, even if it only cures small wounds and illnesses at the moment. The preparation is still a challenge, but I'm getting better at it. The most difficult part is the mixture of several components, since a blue-rayodine barium nobilium carbonium carbonion mixture is no easy thing. Not to mention acquiring all the required ingredients. Fortunately, our brethren know many ways how to obtain those ingredients. Novus Mintel is you. What's this? Question mark, yeah. Two question mark arrows. Having heard him come out, where does he go? Does he just go up and down and into that room and not any further? Yeah, it does seem to be the case. Alright, so we seem relatively safe in here. I suppose, I don't need to try mantling these shelves, I can climb them. Let's get our light back so I can see what I'm doing. I always don't make too much noise, he shouldn't bother me. Oh yeah, I suppose I do need... Hmm. Oh, hello. Healing potion, I'll take that gladly. Alright, there's nothing else. through here. Alright, well let's find our magic torch and put it somewhere. 
effective keep it. I guess that's a long card though. Alright. Maybe what we want, maybe what we're here for is at the bottom of the pyramid. Not at the top. I would have thought it'd be at the top, but what do I know? Well, wait for him to get past. Grab the torch and head down the corridor. So he does come that way. Right, that's good to know. something. So there's more than one of them. Oh dear. We could get trapped in here if we're not careful. a thing. Wow. Well, good news is we can banish them pretty easily. Well, it's a little serious. Did. Ugh, still feeling dazed. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now it says don't kill anyone here. Not don't get into any violent competitions with locals. So these these guys are locals, clearly. That's definitely a violent confrontation. Oh Sith Barak outside, okay. Right for a second. So a lot of crates. We might need to do some stacking to get to the upper shelves. Something up there. What is that? Control crystal. Hmm. I see anything on the upper shelves or was it just a control crystal? Just think it's think it's just the bar barrels that I see, so I don't know what I could have done in here. So straining my eyes. That sounded like it was maybe breaking. Probably doesn't break, right? Hello? What was in here? Experiment B463. I succeeded in finalizing my current experiment. I gained a new material of great quality as I exposed sand to great heat. Let's see where I can put this material to use. I will call this new material. Hmm. Didn't seem to go well for him. Invisibility potion. <sighs> Alright, I can't get through. <sighs> Wonder if there's anything on top. see anything. Well, again, we can uh, light the torch in the room, yeah, which helps a bit. Or light both of them, which helps a lot. Notice. 
frame in your eyes to see in the dark. Yeah, there's nothing else up there. Any torches in this room? Oh. Nearly walked off the edge. Hello? Research protocol of novice Uriban. Experiment V4. They finally found the solution to the problem after experiments of V1, V2, and V3 failed. I discovered some nice side effects while creating an explosive mixture that will expand its volume within seconds. When I extract the side product and feed it to our small green snakes, they start to move incredibly fast for a certain amount of time. This is why I call this fluid Speed Button. I hope that I will be able to increase the effects of this potion, but unfortunately I'm no longer allowed to try it out on our snakes. Yeah, fair enough. That's potion. Which is also handy. Spill place not oh it does have torches. Oh yeah. At least one. Ours weren't there too. So what's down in the water? Missed. <coughs> Ow. Nothing. Just part of the experiment chamber. That's what I was trying to do. Unless that opens up, but... I don't see any kind of... Switch. Surely this pool was meant to be full at one point. And it's just slowly drained away and that's all that's left. I think there's anything else going on in this room. Right, back we go. Let's make this place friendlier, shall we? We need to have spooky old temples. When are you going to have nice, warmly lit old temples? Even go to, oh, I can't get in there. But I can even go so far as lighting up these rooms. Now that we don't want to have to worry about uh, avoiding the spooky people. Missed. See, it's much, much friendlier feeling place. Hello. Just check if anything had fallen off these shelves. I did not, but it doesn't look like anything did, so fair enough. Okay, so we do go up. Torches we could light in here as well, yeah. So it's kind of like I'm playing anti thief, I'm lighting all the torches instead of putting them all out. But you know, it makes the place feel so much cozier. You know, perhaps once I finish and here people actually move back in. I mean, it's not like it's a cursed ancient pyramid or anything, right? Once I steal the mirror of return, perhaps the people will return as well. Well, let's make a hard save. And, uh, I think I'll end the episode here. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.